today I am popping to Home Bargains because it's my monthly trip. I only tend to go once a month so I don't blow the budget because it's one of them shops where I just find that it's like, oh, it's only a pound, it's only five pounds and before you know it, you've spent like 30 quid. But I wanted to go today because I hear that they've got quite a few nice bits when it comes to Christmas. And also, if you recall from my last Home Bargains haul, I bought a big box of sweets for Halloween and I figured it's probably not enough so I'm going to be buying another box this week. I don't think there's anything else. I may pick up a copy on the way home. Really I should write a shopping list. I'm sure there's something else I need. Does anyone else do this? So I have just, ooh, trying to get this to balance. <laughs> it's not working. Okay, one second. I'm just outside Home Bargains now and I need to not blow the budget, don't blow the budget, don't blow the budget. That's what I tell myself all the time when I'm just about to pop into a shop such as Home Bargains, Ikea, Primark, those are like, oh. <laughs> Yeah, £7.77 in home bargains. Amazing. Um, I, I feel like I'm getting the hang of this, like, slowing down when it comes to spending. Like, it doesn't happen overnight, but I'm definitely getting there. I made one impulse buy, but the other two items that I bought, I had every intention of buying at a later date. So I feel like a lot has changed when it comes to Halloween in England are a state alone it feels like america like everyone goes absolutely all out and this is the first time i popped into the shops before halloween to, to really get a sense of what's there and like what i could get for me personally a person that's on a debt free journey there's a lot of things that i don't need so like back in the day you would just buy like your your halloween outfit maybe a bit of face paint and buy sweets as well and um, but now there's all this other stuff like this, this halloween and autumn scented candle halloween snacks what else what else did i see gosh i'm gonna i'm gonna insert the footage here because i've completely forgotten but there's loads of bits that we don't really need but then sometimes it is still good to have a look in the shops and see what they have for example i live in a house where there's very little storage and when my son was about two i bought him one of those little halloween buckets where he can just collect his sweets throughout the night now what they've got is little uh, tote bags that he can fold away and i thought that's perfect because it's like i can still keep it but it's not bulky and taking up space i don't necessarily need it but i would definitely buy in the future if i had a bit more disposable income but it's so tempting to really blow the budget when it comes to Halloween. <laughs> I'm just back now with my Starbucks. So the Christmas stuff was pretty cool. There was lots of your normal toys which can count as Christmas gifts. But then in regards to the Christmas section, it had some lovely Christmas decor. However, I didn't buy any of it because only a couple of years ago, I bought lots of new bits from Wilco's. A little handy tip as well is to try and buy any Christmas decorations just after Christmas day because often there's huge sales. I popped to Wilco's two days after Christmas. Yeah, I ended up buying loads of decor for half the price, which was amazing. They had cards, which I've never seen before. I didn't know they had a Christmas card. And then they had lots of wrapping paper and like really nice uh, gift boxes. But once again, if you just pop to maybe Card Factory or Wilco's or maybe even Home Bargains, a lot of the stuff that they sell now at full price will be 50% off later on. Um, so yeah, they had lots of bits there. They had advent calendars. I was very tempted. I was going to get an advent calendar calendars they were about £1.89 and I thought well it's just gonna be sitting there for a while it's not really at a discount and they had some pretty cool ones which had full size uh, chocolate bars in and um, that I think they were £4.99 if I remember rightly and then they had lots of nice little stocking filler present little sweet collections uh, chocolate collections so i'm back now from home bargains it's nice just to pop out and just have a look and see what they had but i'm so happy that i stuck to budget and literally spent eight pounds in home bargains which is amazing it's a very small haul but anyway i might as well share it with you and um, 
so I've been meaning to get some more storage for like our toiletry bits upstairs. I bought a big box like this. Well, I've got a smaller version because I realised that wasn't quite big enough to fit everything. And this was about £3. I think it was £2.99. Um, I really like the design and I initially picked up a pink one. Um, but I realised I wanted to keep everything consistent in our room. It's white and grey. And then next I bought these sweets, which is the whole reason why I popped into Home Bargains. I was thinking, wow, like that's quite a lot of sweets. Is it too much? But like I mentioned before, when it's Halloween around our area, it's mental. Like there's so many kids popping around getting sweets and we always run out. So I'd rather have too many so that all the kids can have some sweets. And if anything, we can still have some in the house. It's Christmas soon anyway. And my son, I think he'll be really happy that there'll be some sweets in the house because I'll be honest, we never keep sweets in the house because I'll just eat them all. So I think that was £3.99 if I remember rightly. Um, I can't remember. Yeah, and then anyway, finally I bought this book and I thought this would be lovely for the kids. Complete impulse buy, didn't need to buy it, but I don't really have much Christmas books on this and I thought, oh, it's quite cute actually, the Nautilus. So um, yeah, I think this will be lovely for the kids to read. It's a nice little um, book for Christmas time. So anyway, that's the haul. Spent £8, like £7.79 or something like that. Really happy with it. Um, but yeah, there's so many ways we can save in Halloween and Christmas time. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.